for a fascinating program. Uh, tonight, I am delighted, I'm ecstatic, I'm elated to have a gentleman on the program who's making a name for himself here in Charlotte and around the country playing an instrument that doesn't get the props that it so justifiably deserves. And that instrument is the trombone. And my guest is the one and only Henry Buff Dillard, Bone Jazz's uh, creator and uh, CEO, right? That's right. Welcome to the program. How you doing? Thank you. Doing just fine, man. It has been a while uh, since we first met, and I heard you play, and I am delighted to have you on the program so that I can get a little bit more, to, uh, find out a little bit more about Buff. Appreciate so we're gonna you having me. We, we've titled this, man, Up Close and Personal with Buff Dillard. Okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Where you hail from? Woo. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Okay. Where I was born, Greenville, South Carolina. I moved around a lot. My father's a minister, so mm -hmm. uh, from Greenville to Anderson, South Carolina, to uh, Thompson, Georgia, and then here in Charlotte, believe it or not, for about uh, seven years, and then from here on to Philly. Philly being more so musically inclined, yeah. not necessarily jazz, right? but then uh, Charlotte or Greenville, yes. South Carolina. Yes, yes. So is yes, it just me, or do you agree? No, I do agree. I do agree. <laughs> so you left Philly? I left Philly, man. I, um, I, I, at what times, I, I, I regretted it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I left a little too early. But I was trying to uh, get a change of life, and you know how it is when you're trying to uh, get out the nest, yeah. so to speak, or out from, uh, from away from mom and dad's, you know, covering, to uh, be a grown man and do your thing. Okay. So uh, that's when I went to Greenville, South Carolina, to Greenville Technical College for, for uh, two years in business, and pretty much found out that's not really what I wanted to do. You really wanted to the music. whole time. It's been music since I was three years of age, three years, man, and. Uh, Mom didn't really want me to get into music because okay. uh, my dad and his brothers are in the industry. And um, so I was around that, the, the, the stage rehearsals, uh, you know, and all this kind of stuff, the whole nine, and uh, just intrigued by the music part of it. Wasn't no, as, you know, so much the name and fame, mm -hmm. but the music, you know, just, just being around music all my life. And my mom's singing a little bit, man, it's just, it was just a part of me, you know, a part of our household. So of all the instruments one could have selected, you chose the trombone. Yeah, right. well, uh, a lot of people you know, have their reasons why they think I did it, but mm -hmm. to be honest with you, uh, I have three uncles that played the trombone. Oh, all of your uncles played trombone? Three of them. Okay. Uh, Uncle Mitchell, my dad's brothers, Uncle Mitchell, um, um, Uncle Moses, and uh, my uncle Daniel Dillard. Mm -hmm. he, he played trombone. and. Um, I remember my Uncle Dan playing with Peebo Bryson. He featured on any of the like uh, early Peebo or... You know, uh, yeah, pretty much Peebo's whole career up until maybe I would say 10 years ago maybe. I was, so he was I when he hit that. big then when oh, yeah. was... Okay. Oh yeah, cross wings. Yeah, okay, oh man, you yeah. back, he, yeah. way back. Yes, 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 yes. I was just a, a young a lad. Pee -wee. Yeah, I was just <laughs> Pee Wee man. And uh, you know, just got to see a lot and... and I, my uncle wasn't playing a, a front instrument, so to speak. Okay, we want to talk about that. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. you know, but I was still intrigued by the trombone and, and my uncle's playing. Yeah. Um, I then, regret that you didn't bring your trombone with you. Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not common either. Okay. Normally, yeah. everywhere I go, I have it with me. Yeah. I, it's kind of hard for me to, to present myself or talk or speak mm -hmm. without it. It's almost so you become crutch. synonymous with your bone. Right, right. Yes. Okay. exactly. Uh, when I think of the trombone players, I think of people like Wayne Henderson, trombone shorty, uh, what are some of the other people that you know, uh, come to mind when people think of trombone players? Well, a lot of people... And of course, uh, Buff Dillard now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I like to say I, I, I'm, I'm blazing trails for mm -hmm. the, the next generation or the now generation. I've been doing it for a long time. But um, uh, you also have here locally a uh, musician by the name of Kenneth Carr. Okay. And uh, he's known and, and famous for second line jazz. Now that thing, I kind of, that kind of is a New Orleans yes, jazz sir. for me. Yes, sir. Okay. It's almost like a big band, but with the New Orleans beat, uh, okay. tight tempo. Okay. And okay. Um, he's he's real big. He's real big in that in that arena. Um, also, Tyrone you know, Jefferson. I think. Tyrone yeah. Jefferson. Right. Tyrone okay. Jefferson, and another mm -hmm. very good friend of mine I grew up with in Philadelphia is on uh, Hit Beach label, Jeffrey Bradshaw. Okay. And yeah. uh, he tours with Jill Scott a lot. Uh, I think they may be on tour now. As a matter of fact, but um, he's doing his thing. It's similar to what I'm doing, but mm -hmm. you know, we all it, there's different types of jazz, 
and uh, I just chose smooth and uh, to go and, I, and and create my own type feel, you know, things. So again, you know, why the trombone? Is it something about the way it looks, the way the feel, the way it sounds? Well, why the trombone? It, uh, you know, and I mean anybody who gravitates toward a particular intru yeah. instrument. It's probably something that spoke to them versus another one. That's true. But. That's true. Um, let you know a little secret. I really didn't start playing trombone in school mm -hmm. and uh, reading music until the 11th grade. Oh, yeah. You were a late comer then, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> but I had been playing since six years old. Mm -hmm. I've been playing that long. Um, so I developed the ear, which is, again, it's, it's in the genes. It's kind of okay. a, you know, a family thing, um, hereditary. Uh, Terry. But, you know, the trombone fascinated me because there were no vowels, there were no keys. So you got to know exactly where to. It's a feel. You, there are that. positions. Mm -hmm. There are seven positions mm -hmm. on that slide. But where to go without sheet music, you have to have a pretty good ear. But you do read. I do read. Okay, but I, that came later. That came way later. Um, to the to, later to the point that I really didn't have to read unless I was playing with. Um, a big band, mm -hmm. so to speak, a uh, big band shag jazz, um, or you know, someone would hire me to come in and play a piece uh, with a horn section, mm -hmm. and uh, that just didn't last long in my career. Because um, they wanted you to be able to read. Yeah. They wanted me, you know, a lot of big band jazz players would be like, you know, Buff, it's okay if you can't learn the piece when we point to you, just stand up and do what you do. Okay. And uh, before I knew it, I was. Uh, in the papers in Philadelphia and on t television, playing for you know at the Capitol in Harrisburg, you know different big ballroom night uh, gown black tie. Right, formally, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's that's how I just got you know kind of captured by it and stuck to it. Trombone is a very unique instrument, um, and it's different, and you don't see a lot of uh, kids grabbing the trombone. Oh, I want to mm -hmm. play this. Number one, uh, it can get heavy. Okay. Um, and it takes weight, a lot. heavy weight. Yes. Wise. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you holding it with the with your left arm the whole time, the whole time. You know that you're that you're uh, performing or playing. There are different um, degrees of trombone. I guess you could say different. You have the student, the intermediate, and then the pro. Uh, and all of them have different weight, uh, different tones. Oh, you mean the trombone themselves? The trombone the itself. Is, is the, the trombone the, itself. The student, intermediate, and pro. I have to say the, tr the, the the students are too. <laughs> You have, you have intermediate players, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, uh, coming out of college and playing professional with bands, you, you pretty much want to consider yourself a professional. It became another part of me. It's like just another one of my bones. It's just another part of me. Just another okay. bone. Right. <laughs> and and uh, you said determined, and I also yeah. hear, and just hearing you talk about it, a level of uh, passion. Yeah. It sounds like you're passionate about not only the instrument, about getting this instrument from the background and bringing it to the forefront. Forefront. Very passionate. Why is that? I mean, you, you, why do you feel so passionate about making the trombone more of a lead instrument? Well, if you would? it was a vision, like I stated, you know, back way back, like 12 years old. It's always a vision, and I share it with a lot of my friends. Some of them that's, that's out and on labels now that's playing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people were like, you know, you're never going to make that happen. It's just, it wasn't designed for that. It's only the marching band and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, big band. Um, but I was just determined. I, I had that vision and that dream, and I could always see it. Um, and I wanted to see it, you know, mm -hmm. come forth. I did forget about it for a little while, um, you know, and that's when I was uh, doing some things with Pieces of a Dream, mm -hmm. um, uh, with Marcellus workshops and stuff like that, John P. Key. You know, I just forgot about it. Um, it I picked it back up, and, you know, I just want to do something else. I want to do something with this bone that you just don't see. Mm -hmm. And um, just the fact that people tell me I couldn't do it. Made you even want to do it more. <laughs> me really want to get out there and do it. You know, I really just wanted to make it happen. And um, not only that, um, when the horns aren't being called on the road mm -hmm. for s different artists to play. Unlike to a play. lead guitar or a saxophone player or something like Piano, that. Piano, drums, yeah. mm -hmm. bass, they can get a gig anytime. Saxophone player would get a gig like this. Uh, Trombone players, you, you just don't get a whole lot of gigs. Um, so, no, that's but what knowing that, me. knowing that, then why would you gravitate towards something that's not going to be as de in, as in demand? Um, trailblazing. Okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, all my life, I've been that person that did what they say they could could yeah. be done. March to the beat of a different 
trombone player. There it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know, with the help of God, you know, I just, uh, you know, I prayed about it. I was like, I know this can happen. Okay. Don't know how, but I see it, and I can actually hear music. Yeah. I, I hear music all the time. That's one of my produc production uh, hidden skills. Okay. Um, I, I can hear, I can break down every instrument. So, you know, to put that trombone in my mind out front of what I was hearing, um, I don't know, it just proved to be successful. It's just that nobody bought the idea. And you know, nobody. And, and I think about other instruments, uh, i.e., the flute, you know, yeah. uh, Bobby Humphrey, you yeah. know. Uh, I guess Dave Valentine, some people who have taken an instrument that doesn't normally yep. get that type of exposure. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think of another instrument on top of my head, but the tuba. I wouldn't hear anything about a tuba. <laughs> no. uh, so, uh, but there are some, the violin, yeah. you know, Noel Pointer. Yeah. You know, so there are other yeah. instruments yeah. that are kind of obscure in the background, right. but because people are passionate or, or were passionate about those instruments, right. as you are about the trombone, they eventually got a larger, yeah. larger following. I um, had a conversation actually uh, with a musician, famous musician that. I actually got a chance to play for. Actually, I MD'd the band. I put the band together. His name is Miles J. Miles J. Miles okay. J. Was the I want to get it right. The second policeman on the Village People. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Village People. Now you threw me there. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The original, the Village People. He was the second, the second cop. Now that begs the question. Well, what happened to the first cop? Did he get arrested? That I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That I don't know, <laughs> but uh, Miles J, uh, he he came to the North Carolina area was mm -hmm. doing a series. It's called the Miles J series, and it was uh, Durham, uh, High Point, Raleigh, and I put together a crew here in Charlotte. He come, he flew in, mm -hmm. had rehearsal and everything. His manager, they, I don't know how they got my number. They called me to put the band together, and we actually, what he is is actually a. Professional violinist. Oh yeah. Yes, he sings and he plays keys and a little guitar, but you gotta hear that dude on the violin. Now, how long ago was this? And this was just last year, about this time. It was a videotape and maybe on YouTube, something like that. You know what? Some of his some of his uh, shows are on when okay. he was on. So I can just Google you Miles. Know, just Google Miles J. Miles you see, J. See yep. Buff Dylan back there on the trombone. Yeah. You right? may see some <laughs> stuff from me on the trombone back there. I think that was that one of those shows were were uh, they recorded. recorded. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we had the same passion because mm -hmm. he played the violin. Everybody wanted to hire him as a singer, as a vocalist, and piano, you know, this. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's not what his heart was. His heart was in violin. So that's what he's doing now. He's touring the country. He's all over the world, actually. World.